Hi, my name is Mark Hefner. I'm the training coordinator with the Johnstone Supply Training Center. And today we're going to go over some of the common uses for your multimeters, as well as comparing two common brands that we see out in the field. All right, here's the two meters we're going to be looking at today. The first one is our UEI DL569, and the other one is the Fieldpiece SC260. These are both entry-level meters. They're on the lower end of the price range. They both do pretty similar functions overall. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set them both to volts alternating current. This is how we measure uh, AC voltage. And the UEI one, there we go. Let's come on now. So with that, you're able to take your leads and measure any any common circuit, which I've got one just off screen here I can measure right now. We can show that there's 120 volts there with the field piece. Or with the UEI. Also shows 120 volts. So both pretty similar in that regard. They both work well for that. All right, the second thing we can do with our meters here is we can set them to resistance. Uh, this is what will allow us to uh, ohm out a compressor or measure the windings on a blower motor, for example. It's going to be that upside down looking horseshoe symbol. Um, that is the symbol for ohm specifically. I've got a blower motor here off screen that we can just go ahead and measure real quick just to give you an idea. This is going to be set to auto right now, so you're going to notice the numbers are going to jump around for a little bit maybe as it tries to figure out how to measure the resistance on here for the UEI. And it'll be the same thing for the field piece. Come on, there we go. So that auto setting is pretty good. Know that sometimes you might need to actually push select which will allow you to measure in uh, different amounts of ohms, mega ohms or kilo ohms. So that's how to measure resistance. Uh, this will also be the setting you use to measure continuity for the field pace. There's that little uh, dot with some lines next to it. And this one also has a, a symbol of a speaker making noise. That's a, that's a tone that you'll get. So again, you might have to push select until you see that same symbol come up on the UEI. Um, but you can always just test by putting the two leads together. So the field piece is ready to measure continuity. And the UEI will also measure continuity. And you can use that to test wires or the like. So I have a wire here that's no good or a good wire. Okay. And the field piece will do just the same. No good. We're good. Alright, we've come out here to our split system to measure amps on a blower motor in here. So first I've got the field piece set to AAC, which is the setting to measure amps. So I'm measuring about 1.4 amps here with this meter. We can switch it out with the UEI one. And as long as the UEI meter is on, uh, set to any of the settings, it will measure uh, amps at the top of the screen there. Once we can give it a minute, we're going to read about yeah 1.2 amps as well. So that's how to measure amps with these two meters. So we also want to do uh, microfarad readings with these meters. Uh, it should be noted though that this model of UEI meter does not actually measure microfarads. It does not have the ability to do that. The field piece, however, does. So again, if you set it to MFD, which is the same symbol uh, for ohms, you'll be able to measure your capacitor. And here we have a 45 by 5, a, a dual capacitor, so it'll actually have both fan and compressor on it. So we're going to measure between the common right here, and we'll measure to the hermetic first. And we'll see that our number for that. Oh, let me stay on here. See that better. Our number will be 46. So we're good on the compressor side. So again, we'll measure between the common and the fan side now. And over there, we will see five microfarads. So this capacitor is reading well. 
this is in order, and that's how you measure microfarads with the field piece meter. The last thing your meter can do, and again, this is uh, the field piece can do this, but the UEI cannot, is non-contact voltage. This is an NCV on the meter. This kind of turns it into a Harry Potter wand, basically. If you have a live wire or something, you want to make sure there's power on, you can just put the meter close to the, uh, the power source and it will show that it is a live circuit. This is great if you're going up to a unit and you just want to check if there's power or if it's actually been disconnected without having to take a voltage reading. So just a handy little setting. So yeah, those are the, the, the differences between our field piece and UEI uh, and overall how they work and what settings you'll need to use. All right, this has been some uh, common uses of multimeters, uh, field piece and UEI comparison. Uh, we hope you have a better understanding of the meters. Um, but of course, for this and any other training, come check us out at the Johnstone Supply Training Center, where you'll get real-world experience for your real-world career.